teacher of the week is turning the pages for her students future by giving them a safe space to spread positivity. Yep, Christy Calcagno heads to Chapin Middle School where we introduce you to an English teacher who is making a big difference cover to cover. And it seems to me you lived your life like the candle in the wind. Elton John, what do you think? We think how wonderful life is while Miss Sarah Dukes is in the world. I love them and I love what I do, I do. Don't cry, I'm trying William not to cry. <laughs> trying to keep it together. It's okay to get emotional at Chapin Middle School. We even learned about it in Miss Duke's seventh grade English class. Which word has the deeper emotion? Is conveying a stronger connotation? The strongest connotation is the bond Miss Dukes has built with her students for the past seven years. But I walked into her classroom in the morning and it was so bright and cheery and she had posters everywhere encouraging us. Now in eighth grade, Olivia Lang was so inspired by Miss Dukes that she nominated her former teacher. I nominated her because I learned so much from her class so she's just been like a great resource and she's always been supportive of me. So I had Olivia join me for the big surprise. Olivia and I got a little surprise for you. My name is Christy Calcagno from News 19. Congratulations, you are our Teacher of the Week. Oh Let's God. give it up. Thank you. Oh my God. I can't believe this. We all enjoyed her class so much and we really learned about how to be a better person. One of her big rules was that we have no put downs and you can't insult anyone who's not there to defend themselves. And I think that changed a lot of students. Certain words are not allowed and they're not like bad words, but like shut up is a, is a bad word for Miss Dukes because it's just, so it's all about kindness and respectfulness. Miss Dukes taught one year in Greenville County where she grew up before moving to Chapin with her family. Okay, excellent, I love that. Ben, let's add to that. But teaching didn't always add up. So I actually ended up working in finance and in accounting, bookkeeping. It just was like the right moment and the right time. I was working with some students through our church and I was like, I really enjoy teaching and working with them. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to try this. And since moving to the Midlands, her family has been heavily involved at Chapin Christian Community Church. She also leads the Fellowship of Christian Athletes at the middle school. Every Friday we have over 100 kids that are showing up for SCA. It's just been a great blessing and just another way for me to make connections, I think, and relationships, build relationships with kids. Even if she knows this person or not, she's always like so happy and kind to anybody. She's just such a happy person. She always has a smile on her face. Even like when the when it's like a sad time, she's always happy and upbeat. Sometimes you get bogged down in a lot of things and you question sometimes your purpose, you question if you're doing a good job, to know from the people that I'm actually trying to invest in that maybe I'm doing a good job or that, um, you know, that they notice the work and the effort and the love and the stuff that I'm trying to do. It means a whole lot to me. We love you, Ms. Dukes! Oh, they love Ms. Dukes, and if you know an educator who deserves the kind of love that Ms. Dukes just got from her students, Send us an email to TOW at WLTX.com and who knows, Christy may be in your favorite teacher's classroom next Tuesday. All right, speaking 